Ohio State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bobcats have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. Got an opening. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 tight. yards. First, First down. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 33. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. He's got an opening. So they pick up three on the option keeper. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. And down he goes at about the 31. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. The crowd really making it difficult. And he might want it all here and does. And it's going the other way. and he's got his man. He's to the 40. Across midfield. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Tackle at the 19. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. two-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. From the 22-yard line, it's third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 21-yard line. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Ohio State is looking to go up by three. It's up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buckeyes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the field. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Here he goes. And he's 
tackle after positive yardage. Two times, two times. That'll make it 35. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. Four down, four down. High five, high five. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Lost the ball, fumble, and the defense picks it up. For the 20, to the 10, touchdown, Ohio State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Mike five, Mike five. He goes out of bounds at the 26. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Steps out of bounds at the 31. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 34. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. That's a great tackle at the 38. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. And they make the stop right around the 20. Six-yard line. As we 
we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. The Buckeyes with a 10-point lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Nice move, and he scores. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. And he's stopped behind the line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. He's on the run. He's to the 40. And he's taken down at about the 45. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. That's a team of That makes it first and ten. And he's leveled at the 31-yard line. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. From the 31-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 17. That's a team 14 yards in the They'll spread the field with five wide. And a quick throw. That makes it first and goal. Tackles him hard at the five-yard line. That brings up second and goal. makes the PAT. A nice nine play, 75 yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 17-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He makes his way out to about the 35. Back 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good enough to pick up the first down. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. Gets out to around the 48. That's a deal of 10. That'll make it second in inches. He might have a chance. Makes it to the 37. And they got him for a loss. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From the 39-yard line. Second down. Damn. Light 87. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. Tackle made at about the 21. tight end and down he goes around the 14 yard line and this is the eighth play of the drive Ohio State's going to take their first time out of the half makes it to the 12 yard line It's it away, and it's a touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bobcats, quarterback Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. That makes it first and ten. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. He's tackled in the open field. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 18. Swings it out there incomplete. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires incomplete. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. And it's through the uprights. like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And a 
goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. From the 43-yard line, third down. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Five wide. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's hit and taken down. They come out in a five wide set. They'll bring him down around the 11 yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Quick throw. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So at the end of the half, Ohio State leads it 31-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. If you love or at least just appreciate great offensive line play, we're seeing it in this game. The pass rush has been completely negated, and I know that you guys on defense talk not so much all the time about sacks, but affecting the yep. quarterback. How big a deal is that? And you got to find ways to make him feel uncomfortable, and you'd like to be able to do it with four people and not blitz and put your secondary at risk but sometimes when you're not getting home sometimes you got to bring a fifth guy and you got to bring guy maybe with a cornerback or a nickelback with more speed off of the edge right now what they're doing is not working they got to change it up maybe run some line games up front where people cross and stunt but you have to affect the quarterback if you don't want him to pick you apart that's going to do it for david and me here in the studio time to get you back to the game red and kirk ready to take you home in the second half Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Here's an opening. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for 
counts at second and two. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. Inside. Gains his way to the 33 yard line. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. and he's got his man and they make the stop at the 12. Number 37 with the tackle at the 12 yard line. That brings him second and five. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it third and three. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometime. Fourth and five. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and the field goal is good. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down at the 28. Second and seven. Let's go deep. Mike five. Mike five. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. He's taken down around the 32 yard line. That's a game of four. Third down. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 33-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 30. And he is drilled at the 20-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fourth and long. Uh, 
Oh, excellent punt. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. There's a strike complete, and he's level at midfield. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. Bring up second and three. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. And he throws it away. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. My five, my five, my five. And he hits him hard at the 48. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. First down, they're deep in their own territory. On the ground with the tailback. Makes it to the 17. Set up for the 20, for the 10. Touchdown, Ohio! Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Ready! He's going to try and scramble. And they won't get the two. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ohio's playing much better on the defensive side of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They've streamlined their attack, and I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster here. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. That makes it second and six. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. The Buckeyes with an 18-point cushion. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter.
the 47 yard line. He tackles him for a loss. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is, he's not getting away. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 50-yard line. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He steps up. He wants it all going long. And they intercept it. The junior safety. Now the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. Come on, man. From their own 15-yard line, it's first down. By five. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. That makes it second and six. And he tackles him hard at the eight. So the sack makes this third and very long. They can't hear a thing down there. And he's gonna lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. A four yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might wanna consider that next time they try that play. You can bet the putter's sweating to have to kick this one from his own end zone. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's taken down at the 42. The Buckeyes came out from the opening kick, and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers. You can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers. The defense has done their job. It's about as good as you could hope for. An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. The best way to move beyond a turnover is to score. And when you can start on the other team's half of the field, you're in really good shape to have a chance to do that. From the 38-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll knock him down for a loss. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. That makes it third and 11. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds.
He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Just over a minute left. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. He wants it all. And he's hit immediately. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs. Hey. Hey, hey. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Go for two in this situation. And he comes up short on a two point conversion. Tackle made at the forty one. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Nice run up the middle. The Bobcats use their second timeout. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. And it really comes down to the defensive lineman holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Buckeyes take this one, 34-22. That wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.